Welcome to Navigating Your Day. It's Monday, the 10th of April, 2018. Safety energy lock number 10 came into the universe in Jin Jitsu, meaning air or the outpouring of limitless life power. Um, it's also known as the warehouse of abundance. So it connects us to the air element, the breath. And in fact, safety energy lock number 10, I can't really show you, but if you imagine your shoulder blade between your spine and your shoulder blade about just about halfway down your shoulder blade. Between the shoulder blade and the spine, that's where safety engine lock number 10 is located. Most of us have quite a tender trigger point there. And that is um, the back of the chest. It's the back of the heart chakra. It's the chest and through the lungs that we are connected to the air element. So it is also, as I said, it's the limitless, it's the outpouring of limitless life power. It's the vehicle, this heart chakra, that's where we pour our limitless life power out into the world. But... When we are not in harmony with safety change lock number 10, um, then we, we, we empty that warehouse. If we are not connected to ourselves, if we are not caring for ourselves effectively, if we are not nurturing ourselves mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, then our warehouse of abundance becomes depleted. Not because you don't have access to more. The, 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 the energy out there, it's limitless. You have access to limitless amounts of energy. But if you're not directing any of it inward and you're expending it all outward, then um, you exhaust it. So today we have the ability to connect to this air element, that which gives us life, the outpouring of this limitless life energy and our absolute warehouse of abundance. So I'll tell you straight off the bat, it's on the index finger. If you hold your index finger, you help to replenish that warehouse. Um, 10 is of course a one. One is the inspirer. One is the one that moves us into the future. So remember yesterday I said we've got this push and pull in the astrology between we're in the, uh, the fire sign of Aries. It's just going move forward. Planet Mars is telling us move forward, initiate new things. And then we have Saturn in Capricorn saying slow down, do the work, get disciplined, get real, focus. All right. So, um, the one energy of today is that driving us forward. It's, it's asking us to move into the future. But you know, you can't move effectively into the future when you have no resources. And that safety energy lock number 10 is associated with your abundant resource. So again, the message is we need to connect deeply with ourselves. We need to connect with what it is that we need. We need to connect. We need to nourish ourselves so that we can be whole and integrated. And then our gifts to the world become limitless. Then we access that part of ourselves that is limitless, that is constantly replenished. And that is when we can, we can just by being there, just by turning up and showing up and being there, you can be an amazing gift to the world. So one is an air number. It's about analysis. There's lots of thinking. There's lots of planning. There's lots of wanting to move forward. Four is an earth number, which is from April. So four helps us to connect to the vision. It also helps us to stay in integrity with ourselves. It helps us to get real and say, you know what, actually, Loretta, right now you don't have the resource to, I don't know, do 27 projects. So maybe today you just need to rest. Okay. It's about being in integrity with ourselves as well as connecting to that vision that we have for ourselves and our lives. We have the two from 2018, which helps us to appreciate the balance and that the balance needs to exist. And two is about nurture, remember. So two helps to remind us that we have to nurture ourselves and we have to nurture others. And when we do that, we foster a connection with ourselves, we foster a connection with others. And connection is one of the deep the fundamental human needs. And so we keep on thinking, we very much have our focus on connecting to others, connecting to your children, connecting to your spouse, connecting to your business, connecting to your work, connecting to your family, connecting to the community, making a difference in the world in as much as it affects other people or the planet. Um, you know, it is about connecting to yourself also. In fact, that goes far as to say it's about connecting to yourself first. Because the more you can actually foster that connection, the more you can help others by giving them permission to do that for themselves. Um, and the bigger difference you can make. Um, so we've got one, which is an air number. We've got four, which is an earth number. We've got two, which is a water number. So a fair spread of elements there. Um, the hero of today is the, let me just think, seven. Yes, the seven. So um, seven in the hero position, 
Seven helps us to um, connect to the path that is correct for us. Seven helps us to connect to that which is bigger than we are. Seven helps us to connect to that part of ourselves that is deeply empathetic. Seven is the number that does want to make a difference in the world. The downside of seven, and you won't really see it in this position that much, is that seven feels wholly responsible for doing it because they don't think anyone else wants to do it. Okay? And that's not the truth. But seven does help us to connect to that deeply spiritual part of ourselves so that we can be the unique expression of who we are. So we don't try and imitate anyone else. We don't try and have to be like anyone else. We lose our envy for other people. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, um, <laughs> I'm going to mess up the quote. He said, wait, I'm going to get it right, right? Uh, envy is ignorance. Imitation is suicide. So when we are envious of anyone else because that's how we think we need to be, that is suicide. We end up killing ourselves. And that's ignorance. Envy is ignorance. Imitation is suicide. So envy is ignorance. It's because you don't realize that you are the unique, you're in a unique expression of the divine. So, and you have everything you need to be that expression. So envy is ignorance because you don't actually realize that what you think you don't have, you already do. You're just not looking for it in the correct form. And imitation is suicide. Imitation, when you're trying to be like someone else, that is suicide because you have to kill who you really are in order to be who you're not. So seven helps us to make that distinction about what is really me. So seven is the road less traveled. Seven is about independent thinking. Seven is about working independently. Seven is a bit more of an introspective number. And so seven is, in this position, is nourished by time alone, connecting with nature, connecting with the natural cycles and rhythms of, of life, and specifically connecting with ourselves. So if it's possible for you, make a bit of time today to just be alone. Five minutes, five minutes of just, I don't know, walking around outside for a little bit, um, looking at the tree outside your window in your office if you're stuck in there, uh, shutting your door and giving yourself five minutes to just deeply connect to who you are through deep breathing or some stretching or some meditation, whatever it is that does it for you. The villain of today is the eight. So when we have an eight in the villain position, we don't know how to say no, right? We find it very difficult to put down boundaries. And um, when that happens and we take on too much, then we deplete our warehouse of abundance. So today, please guard against um, saying yes to things that don't serve you, things that you are incapable perhaps of doing because you have time constraints, things that you don't really want to do, and things that are not actually a congruent with a unique expression of who you are and what you want to do or be in the world. So today we can harmonize safety lock number 10, as I said right in the beginning, by holding the index finger. So when you hold your index finger, you help to replenish that warehouse of abundance. You help to connect to the air element. You also help to harmonize the bladder and kidney organ function energies, and you help circulation of that air energy to move effectively through the body. You help to um, harmonize subconscious fear. And subconscious fear is subconscious. You don't know that it's there, right? And so it can help to make that subconscious conscious and it can help to actually just harmonize that fear so that it doesn't actually prevent you from being in integrity with yourself. I hope you have a lovely Tuesday and I'll speak to you again tomorrow.